Okay, so we're going to have a look at Toshiba's Ultrabook, which is actually the thinnest and lightest on the market. It's the Portage Z930. Quite a nice device. Um, so here we have it compared to the Zeus product. Um, look very similar at this sort of glance, but this is actually officially two millimeters um, thinner than the Zeus. But here's the key thing: this is 1.1 kgs um, lightest on the market, whereas this is 1.3, and um, you can definitely notice that difference. So. Beautiful little device in that regard. Now, funnily enough, um, another good aspect of this, in my opinion, is the um, is it has the full range of specifications. So you can start off at the low end price point and move right up to the high end with the full i7, 8GB of RAM, and all that sort of thing. Um, whereas the Zeus product is just typically these days at the lower end of things. So um, one of the key differentiators is 3G built into the Toshiba, which is really nice. Um, so that is a plus, but here's really um, one of the key points. And I don't know how they've jammed so much technology into this thing being as um, light and thin as it is, but they've actually got the full size ports on the back. So we've got um, your VGA, HDMI, um, three USBs, one hidden around here, and your full Ethernet. So if we compare that to a lot of other devices, such as the Zeus, you're using dongle cables. So you've got these little dongle cords, and of course, then you get your full-size port. So you end up with a lot of these little dongle cables plugged on the side, um, which is um, not that cool. So Toshiba, one of the only products that's been able to get full-size ports on the back and to do it as a thinnest product is pretty cool. So um, one of the key things that's probably not so good in this product, though, is um, it's reasonably fragile, or the, or the build is um, quite lightweight. So um, if we just have a look here, for example, at the Azus product is reasonably rigid and um, feel, feels nice and strong to use uh, where you come across to the Toshiba and it really is all over the place. So it's quite, um, quite fragile and um, yeah, it certainly doesn't feel like a quality build, um, but then you've got 200 grams less on this one. So if you really are wanting the lightest weight ultra book on the market, then here it is right here.